Hello! Hi cuties! Welcome back to my channel. I am Charisma, the dream visualist of Pop Nikki Jewelry. Uh, so today we're, uh, like I said yesterday, we're going to make a wire cuff out of this stone. Hope you can see it well. This is a bumblebee jasper. And this is the drawing that I had on the last uh, how to design video. So this is what I'm going to make today. So it's going to be something like that. See, I have a few bits and pieces that I already cut, but it's not as many as I figured I would do because sometimes it's kind of hard to make sure that you have the right uh, thing before you actually uh, attach them together. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to attach the frames first and do it as I go. Jackie say, how are you today, Miss Awesome? <laughs> I'm doing great. Thanks, Jackie. How are you guys doing today? How are my cuties doing? So I have, uh, well, it's kind of hard to show on camera, but I have a few pieces that I already cut, just four pieces, so hopefully I can uh, have a little head start. Nothing is attached yet, so I'm going to either fusing or soldering it on camera. Are you guys ready? And, oh, and I have a good news that I am already past the 90,000 minutes that was required. In, hold on. Uh, in 18 days. Woo! Celebrate, celebrate. <laughs> so, uh, it seems like after I'm done with this cuff making, I will, I will find a way to have the photography crash course. So I'm projecting that this cuff making probably take about two or three videos so after that we're gonna have photography crash course yay okay so I'm going to point uh, this camera down to my bench or my stump and we're gonna get started Okay, this is, I'm not going to bezel this stone, instead I'm going to wire wrap it after I, I'm done with making the frame. So my plan is to have, to make this wire uh, frame, it's going to be more or less looking like this, oops, okay. use the tool, charisma. So it's going to be more or less looking like so. And then I will put this on top and wire wrap it. But of course after I attach all the stuff, uh, like my picture here, so wire wrapping comes last. So if you've been waiting to see me doing wire netting, then it's your lucky day. Or maybe tomorrow is your lucky day. We'll see. We'll see how far can we go from here. It's 
So I'm gonna move all of my pliers from my desk and I will put the soldering pen. Okay, I, I don't think I have said a proper hi to everyone, so I'm gonna say, see who's here. Uh, there's Jackie, hi Carlene, hi Namir, hi Sylvia, hi Sally, hi Elsie, hi Lena. I don't think Elle's here yet. Uh, this, this was her request. So I'm gonna remove uh, this we're gonna try to do it on here see I'm I usually use like a charcoal block but my charcoal block is looking like not good right now it's already like uneven uh, top surface so I'm using this fire 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 brick because it's still smooth okay see someone more uh, with more skill probably can do all at once but I'm gonna do it one one by one because I don't want to mess it up Uh, I'm gonna explain a little bit. I I have this middle part that's going uh, through the top. So I already cut and shape shape and cut this teardrop to match the size of my stone, and then I'm going to uh, solder this uh, wire spoke in the middle like so so it lays flat so we'll see we'll see I hope I will succeed I had a had a good time trying to match all of these things you know It's being a punk right now. Maybe it's on the wrong way because I lift it up. Okay, yeah, it was the wrong way. Okay. So I'm gonna use my Aquiflux but First I'm gonna unclock it because apparently I forgot to unclock it before I went live Okay, because the needle top always dries out because I always forgot to put the cap back on and I need to put in like a 20 ga uh, 28 gauge doesn't seem to want to get unclogged it's just annoying okay so forget about unclocking I'm just going to remove the thing and just drop it like that going 
to anneal the whole thing because it's important. Once it's annealed, then I can focus my flame. Did you see it fused? I didn't use any solder. The top fused more than I expected. This part, but it's okay. Ooh, but that part doesn't look as good. Okay, so I'm going to attach, okay, I'm going to pickle it first because it's Argentium. And to fuse it, I need clean uh, surface. gonna try to fit this piece right there. Uh, looks like I need to curl it a little bit more. Gonna try to curl it a little bit. This is why I want everything to be attached first, so I can make sure like the angle is going to be good enough. It's not touching. Can I see if I can use my butane torch? Because Argentium doesn't need a lot of heat like copper. So we'll see if it will work. Just putting a drop of flux.
thinking my easy torch might be a little too hot. start to fuse yay now I'm gonna focus my flame on this joint starting fuse seems like My flame gets a little too weak. Not sure about that part seem to fuse well enough. So I'm gonna try with my easy torch. Wanna make sure that I keep moving my torch because with Argentium like you overheat it, then it's going to, but going to be bad. Okay, it's it's fusing. Cool. Ha ha ha! I'm so happy. Okay. Yep. Looks good. And now we'll try this one. It doesn't seem badly oxidized, so I'm gonna see if I can just attach this. Oh my god. Stop moving. like I need to fix the angle. Should I dip it because it's gonna be hot if I touch it just like so. So I'm just going to try to file it down a little. Okay, now let's try on that. Don't forget the flux. So how do you know when it's fusing uh, temperature is that uh, Argentium will look like it, the surface becomes glassy. You can see that and then it's like a 
And you have to keep moving. Ah, it's like it's trying to reflow the tip. Like I say, you need to keep moving. It's kind of hard. Uh, I might not have that one touching. So I'm gonna. I fuse this one, this part, but not this part. Seems like it's not touching uh, as well as I thought it was. So I'm gonna. Yep, it's not touching. Cool. Uh, going to dip it in. Uh, what is it called? Pickle. And I will try my best to make sure that part connects. like a little too short so hopefully I can fix that without having to redo the thing so let's see let's see let's see if straightening it out will help maybe hopefully okay, it looks like it's touching now Hopefully that's hopefully that's enough. See, it's kind of kind of in the middle here. I'm gonna try my smaller tip because that easy torch is on medium tip. small tip kind of dead so but I'm try to clean it so hopefully it works kind of forgot about it though and I meant to try it before I started this video but I was a little sidetracked This is the small tip. Uh, better not be hot. Better not be hot. Okay. Okay. okay I can just. Good thing it's not hot yet. So hopefully it works. And because I've been dying to use my small tip again. Moment of truth. now awesome I'm gonna put flux again on the joint so hopefully this will do the job better Did you see that? Did you see it flow? Woohoo! It is a touch. 
Yeah, okay. The small tip works way, way, way better. Uh, now it looks like this part doesn't get attached well. Uh, I mean, it's kind of attached. So I'm gonna try uh, hit this one, this part a little bit more because it's not as well attached as this part and that part. If you're interested to learn about Argentium, you should check uh, Rhonda Coriel she is the master of Argentium and she has free videos on YouTube you can go to her channel I'm pretty sure it's just uh, uh, the name I don't remember is Rhonda with H or not but if not you can remove I think it's that Rhonda Yeah, I put it in the chat. I think that's the name. I think that's how you spell her name. So I'm gonna try fusing this part again. Hope it works. Joints are good now. Cool, cool, cool. Okay. Awesome. Okay, the result. See the result. Uh, I don't know if you can see it well. Let's see if it will focus on it. Okay, so. What I did was fusing without using uh, any solder chips. Okay, I'm gonna look to. Um, Sally asked, How high is your stump? My stump is. Uh, this one is. Uh, let's see. It's my crotch high. Yeah, it's as high as my crotch, and that's after I added um, casters underneath, so I can move this pretty easily. Um. I uh, don't remember. I think I have four or five casters underneath this stump. Because if you have tried to move a stump, it's not easy. They're like super heavy because you need to use a hard hardwood uh, tree for a stump. You cannot use softwood 
for that's what I heard anyway. So this is oak. This is oak tree stump. This is from the huge tree on my backyard that was destroyed by a close to a tornado a couple of years back in 2015. Um, so yeah, I got a few stumps out of it. This one is the tallest, is my crotch high, and so when I'm sitting down, I'm currently sitting down, uh, it's just about my waist, my waist high. It is pretty nice to have a stump. It's, you don't have to, but it's just provide a nice solid surface for you. Like especially for hammering, it's really nice because if you're hammering on a table like my uh, Harper Freight table here, you will be, you will hear hear a lot of vibrations like. A, and like where the stump is like so dense, it's not vibrating like that. Even better if you can get a steel block that is like a mass, massive, uh, like thick, 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 like probably like four inches thick and maybe like four, four by four and then like four four by four by four that would reduce a lot of the ding 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 noise like my steel block here is only an inch tall an inch thick so it's still like ding 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 but I've seen someone in one of the metal groups he shared his just a this mass of steel and didn't produce that ding 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 noise so you probably can go to a local uh what is it called uh steel uh what is it like a, you know like a steel worker or whatever you know like a junkyard or something you can ask them to cut you a piece of really thick steel that would be awesome i mean i want one but i haven't haven't gotten the chance to uh, okay i want i want to connect my i want to connect my brand on on here but it seems like it's not it's too big for uh, the space that I was planning it for. So I might have to cut um, the top there. So I'm gonna mark it um, with Sharpie where I have to cut. First, I want to make sure that this is the bottom, right, facing the right. it to the last hot area. Metal is hot. Pretty 
Mm. Let's try cutting it. And this is just 22 gauge. Okay, let's try to fit in. Need to be curved a little bit more. The cutting is impossible, so I'm going to use my half round uh, file. This cutting is near impossible, so this is what I'm going to do. When you're fusing or soldering, fitting is everything, so you want to make sure that the curve is right. Okay, let's check again. Hopefully this will do. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. I think this, this is going to be fine. Okay, I want it to be. Maybe it's better if I suspend it in the middle. Oops, it's a little off, but I'll show you that it fits. It fits, fits perfectly over there. I don't know if you can see it. Uh, both is not really helping, but I'm going to turn it off because I'm going to try to fuse it. So, I'm going to put some flux. It's probably way too much flux, but it's uh, get absorbed on the clock anyway. Okay, hopefully this works because otherwise I might have to scrap it and that wouldn't be fun, right? So. like it's fused. I'm gonna wait until it's not uh, red. This argentium is brittle when it's red hot. Okay cool, looks like it's fused. Hooray! going to be covered with uh, the stone. I don't know if you can see it well on camera but it's all fused on like here, right here, right here, and right here. Right here probably could use a little bit more but it looks like it's gonna be okay. So 
So I'm going to sand this part a little bit because it's kind of rough now from I think it's taking the texture of the steel uh not steel uh what I meant to say is that soldering block. So I'm going to send send it. And I lost my sanding paper again. Must be get blown up somewhere. So I'm just gonna rip some of this sandpaper that I have without any packing. And it's not gonna be as durable, but have to use whatever I have, right? One of these days, I'm gonna go back to Home Depot and get more of that, uh, the plastic uh, sandpaper. Or is, should I say it's hand plastic? Because <laughs> it's not paper. I haven't gotten the chance because, you know, I've been doing these live videos. So after this live video is done, can finally go somewhere to shop. Okay, I think that's all good. Okay, so it's it's gonna look like that. And I'm going to weave around the stone after I'm done with all of the soldering part, of course. Okay, so let's go back to our... Oh, Kat got the plastic sandpaper from Lowe's a couple of days ago and she said that she loved it. Isn't it pretty great? I really, really like that. Um, Okay, let's see. So it's going to be like that. So I'm thinking this part is... Uh, oops, I'm a little off camera. This part is going to be wire wrapped. So I'm going to make uh, the frame uh, on top here and the frame that goes on the side. By the way, I'm using 14 gauge uh, silver for this. cage is really thick and is quite tough so let's why did I move this paper I need it you can see it's already a little different than my picture I figure a better way to make it So it's gonna be. I'm gonna mentally try a uh, gauge in like one, two, three, four, five. Okay, five is in the middle, so it's gonna be 10 centimeters. So that's what I'm gonna cut, and this one is one, two, three, four, five, six. And this one is six centimeters each. So 10 centimeters on top. Okay, I'm gonna write it down so I don't forget. Okay, it's gonna be 10 right here and six, six centimeters. Okay, 
you're new to my channel, I mentioned before that I like this type of uh, steel roller because it has the centimeters and the inch starts from the same side and there is no extra uh, on the side and it's just like so you can cut the wire like so 10 centimeters and just cut it right so I'm gonna straighten try to straighten up a little bit That's all the top part, and then six for the rest. So I'm gonna just match uh, the wire together uh, with the cut part because it's easier uh, to cut that way than measure it one by one with the steel roller so I'm going to cut a diagonal wait, probably not no, not diagonal, I'm just going to cut a straight cut because it's going to be uh, rounded instead of pointy. So this is my scrap silver. It looks like I've accumulated quite enough. I could probably sell it while silver was really high a few years ago. But I didn't. Because I thought I didn't ha have that much. And now I haven't seen it. It looks, looks really heavy. Oops. Well, there goes the silver. Mm. So it's better to do to, to do it like so. So it goes falls right into the container. Okay. I'm gonna try rounding uh, the ends with my copper because it's faster that way. Have a set here, and I will pick one that fit my wire best. Fitting it inside the coupler, round it a little. Goes pretty fast if you have a flag shaft. can also get hot so, oh, oh, oh. Uh. so you might want to hold it a little farther than the end
So that's good enough. Okay, according to my picture, this one is, I'm going to work on the ends first because it's too round a wire this thick, you need a lot of leverage, so I'm gonna, gonna try around it if it doesn't work. Uh, okay, it works. I was gonna say, if it doesn't work, I might have to anneal it, but it looks like it works just fine. I'm, I'm blurry. I'm blurry. sure that it's it's equal left and right more or less okay this is what I this is just the normal curve from uh, the coiled wire, uh, coiled wire, yeah. I didn't curve it yet. Come on, focus. I'm already holding it far enough. Okay, so, let's check with my picture. Bigger, uh, bigger than my picture, but that's not a problem. So I'm going to use my thumb to curve it. I like to use my body before I use tools because sometimes the, the result is better if it's like a for bigger. Uh, there's a curve like this because we're using a tool can make the curve a little uh, jacky because you know they're small the curve seems to work okay now let's see Too big. So I have to curve it a little more. Oops, I'm off camera. Okay. It's a little too big still. I might have to cut a little, might be a little too big, a little too long. So I'm gonna cut a few millimeters from the left and right. Mm, that's such a shame because I already rounded it. You gotta do what you gotta do. I can uh, well that that goes well it just shoot right behind me instead of inside the container and I already like do this uh, I already do this like covering it with my arms um, my hand. So that's kind of funny. Okay, so that's what I have now. Let's move all of this junk. And I'm gonna I'm gonna do with my 
thing again. Time for this thing. Uh, copper. That of course. That's a name. Uh, let's see if I can even do that. Mm. Okay, I'm going to bend it a little, uh, a little to the side, so my copper can reach it better. might still not work so I'm just gonna forget about the copper and I'm gonna shave it after uh, after I hammer it so let's see I'm going to try to curl it again See, this is the thing with jewelry making, like, you always constantly thinking of plan B. When something doesn't work, plan B. It's important to not get discouraged just because uh, it doesn't go your way. Because relax, it's only jewelry. Like, uh, your customer wouldn't know that it wasn't your first intention uh, that you shape it that way. Okay. Looks closer. going to curl it a little bit more so it looks more like the drawing oh by the way I was fitting it and I forgot that the camera was up here this back Oops. Uh, okay. it looks almost almost like this. super close super close so I'm gonna hammer uh, the top and the sides and so we get that flare look I'm gonna move this to the side I'm gonna use my handy dandy planishing hammer to do it. Might tighten the curl a little bit uh, on this side. could probably round it around a uh, my dapping uh, punch so it looks uh, more even but it looks good enough it looks good so so I'm going to hold it uh, with both hand uh, both fingers uh, so it doesn't uh, flat out you know because if you don't do that, it's going to flare out. So you need to hold it and I'm going to hammer it. I'm hammering more uh, harder on 
the top because that's the part where I want it to flare the most and going lighter towards uh, the bottom of the curve to make sure that I have a gentle transformation okay, so now I'm going to flare out uh, this part See, you cannot do this with a chasing hammer because the face is so big you will uh, hit the whole thing and make uh, the whole thing have the same width this is the advantage of having a smaller face you can flare out like selective area Try to see if it fits a bit uh, better. Oops, it's becoming a little too flare out. It doesn't touch the end, but doesn't matter. I can anneal this and try to push it closer. But first, I'm gonna round uh, the end. I don't like how it's flat. I hope you can see it. Sorry. Uh, see how it's just cut flat. So I'm going to round the, that area with my file carefully. Steel flat, so it's has something to grip on. Sometimes I wish I had a better, flatter file because the triangle top kind of. Oh, get in the way sometimes. Maybe my next purchase I will get something that is flatter. I do have a flat one, but it has um uh, has teeth on both sides. Not sure if it will work. Mm, kind of. But I like the other one better. I think the other one files better than this one. Because I'm risking uh, scratching the other part with this file. So I'm going to go back to the other file. Especially because I'm reaching a little hard to reach area here. a lot better don't you agree <coughs> oops so instead of straight and stumpy like that now it looks a lot more polished 
What did I drop? I don't even know. Oh, it's my tweezer. Okay, so I'm going to do the other side. goes a little easier because it's spread out a little bigger so I'm gonna fix it later after I anneal it annealing helps a lot when you need to sh reshape it after hammering Have you tried reticula reticulation to use some of your scrap? Well, this is Argentium. I cannot reticulate Argentium because it's not... Uh, the whole thing with Argentium is that it will fuse. So if it can reticulate, it won't fuse as smooth. So the germanium in the Argentium makes it fuse easily and the result is smooth. If it was sterling, normal sterling silver, then I could do some reticulation, but not with Argentium. Okay, both sides look pretty good right now. Okay, I'm going to anneal this. Yeah, this it's a lot of a lot of maneuvering, moving moving a lot of things. Okay. One thing to know how to uh, this is a uh, just one trick to see if your wire anneal is when the sharpie mark is gone. then your Argentium is annealed. I'm just gonna use uh, my butane torch because it's not as aggressive as my easy torch. Using some of my scraps, trying to be like Nicole Ringgold, I think that's the name. Uh, you can check her on Instagram. She does absolutely beautiful pieces, uh, making like real herbs and leaves with. She does a lot of fusing and she does it with sterling silver, not argentium. So now it's soft, I'm gonna try to push it, I mean softer, it's not soft, soft, it can be bent. I'm 
gonna try closing this part uh, closer so it looks more like the other part. Okay, yeah, I think that looks looks pretty good. Okay, I will I will try fusing this part and and then we'll go on with the other wire. something that I can can hammer better. Make sure that it's straight. Kind of eyeball it here. Okay, hopefully this works as well as the last time. Two. Flux, make sure everything is touching because if it's not touching, then it won't uh, get fused together. Fused, but let's see. I can't spread out. Oh, it's fused a little. I don't know if you can see it, but I think I want to make sure that it is fused a little bit more so it doesn't break.
think it fused really well this time. Yep, yep, yep. Awesome. Okay, I'm gonna make sure. Okay, now it's in the pickle. I'm going to try shaping these two wires. going to curl it like the picture I don't want this to curl a little deeper, but it's probably going to be hard. I might need to kneel it if I can't force it. Mostly similar now. Kind of bend the straight part a little with my thumb. Okay, I'm going to hammer it and, and then we can attach it. So I'm going to make sure that it's facing the right way as I hammer it.
Okay, I'm going to... Uh, round the ends again. A minute. So it was... It was already rounded a little, but it can use further further shaping. For some reason, I want to say shapering. So that's not even a word. gonna blame my husband because sometimes he is like using a word stupid words like drawing because it's fun to say so now I'm shapering my wire okay I'm going to going to anneal this and to make the shape better I want to make sure they don't touch each other or I will accidentally fuse it. So now I'm annealing with my butane torch again. Make sure that the hold it a little longer after the mark disappeared. Cause that's the thing with argentium, you don't want to overheat it. When you overheat it it can slump. And that is bad if you have a lot of wire that is like crisscrossing and with a lot of layers, slumping could be really, really bad. So that's why it's a little tricky to work with Artentium, but I like it anyway because I love challenges if you haven't noticed yet. Okay, so let's see my drawing or drawing. And we will attach this. Uh, make sure I do the right. Oh, I kind of forgot it. I meant to. Uh, shape it first okay I'm gonna do that I'm gonna I'm gonna file it and then gonna shape it better. And 
Vladimir, I hope I spell your name right. No, my name is spelled K H A R I S M A. It's like charisma in English only with a K. I'm almost a Kadarshian, you know. Uh, just uh, Chinese and not as rich. But, you know, I'm almost a Kadarshian in the name part. Although I think my husband would hate it if I was a Kardashian. <laughs> Couldn't stand uh, girls like that. Good. And now the other one. I'm gonna reshape it now. Hi Anna, welcome to my channel. Uh, let's see how far should I reshape it. Okay, a little, a little. Yeah, that's close. Super close. So now I'm going to see. see my plan is to have a ball uh, over here. That's pretty good. So now I'm gonna move it to the soldering pen here. This is like workout going up and down, up and down, reaching out the soldering uh, pen. I'm unintentionally working out by making this video. I don't wanna wanna straighten out uh, the middle part here because it's you know you can see that it's curved. 
So I'm just gonna use the flat part of this pliers. So that was super simple. Soldering involves a lot of fitting I mean fusing, soldering, uh, whichever both are the same uh, general idea they have a lot of fitting okay. I think that's good so now I'm going to place flux on the Got flared out a little bit while I was uh, fusing the other part, so I'm gonna press this part closer. And that's the thing with argentium, you cannot use pressure like a binding wire because that's gonna break it while it's red hot. So I just have to make sure that it is going to I have to quench this first and then try to close the gap. I wasn't prepared to have some pins. I'm not sure where my pins are. I can use pins just to make sure it stays. The rest is looking pretty good. Now I'm going to fuse that part. I've got to put some flux.
sorry you couldn't see it better, but hope you seen it while it flows. Looks like it show up pretty well if you're on desktop. Okay, now let's make a ball. Let's have a ball, making a ball. So this is what I use my scrap for, making balls. Because we all love balls. So, okay, I'm gonna see if I could find something small. Um, Maybe next time we'll have fun trying to fuse all of my scrap. That's an idea for the next live video, right? Okay, let's see. Small stuff. Okay, I think that's enough. For a big ball. Hope it's not hot, because I put it in the hot area. Sometimes I do stupid things like that. Okay, let's see. Maybe I can do all right with just this butane torch. Look at that ball! So nice and brown. Oh, I can see my own reflection in it. When, it when it was classy. Awesome. It's nice and smooth. That's, a, that's one thing that's good about Argentium is that it make smooth balls. Okay, so I want to cut the bottom this first just to make sure it looks nicely uh, you know not uneven like this Can use some half round to file to have it uh, curve similarly to the ball. Should save all of my dust, but it's kind of hard to keep moving. Um, my soldering pen. don't really want to put my plastic container on top of this smoldering hot soldering block, there you go, words, god let's see. 
tape, let's put it on the top. So we can kind of want it to put in. I also want to shape it. Okay, it's not. I want to shape the point. Oops, point eater. Almost there. Trying to find a round file that is it's a neat old file, a crappy one, but it should do the job. Make sure I can fit that ball at the end here. I can't believe it. it's almost two hours. I should just put it and then grind it. I think kind of fun if it confused that way. It's a little bit more filing. Should be good enough. That looks like it fits. I don't know if you can see it. So I'm going to send uh, parts of it. I'll move this down again. Make sure I file it before I fuse it. It's gonna be hard to do it once you have the ball on. Just wanna make sure I have everything smooth. Before I do that. That part is good, not this part.
fall. This thing is a big ball. Flyers and whatnot, and put some flux on there. Pop the bubble. Okay, let's see if it will fuse. Well, I hope so. Hooray! No, wait a little. I don't want to ruin it. Okay, let's see how the back looks like. Okay, it looks like both sides fused well. Awesome. Okay, I think we need to continue tomorrow because it's been two hours. It's crazy, like soldering takes a lot of time. Uh, that's my pliers. Uh, I tried to hang it and then it fell. Uh, Catwoman asked, did you use flux to make that ball? No, I didn't. I didn't use flux and I think I found out that uh, to make balls at least with argentium I think I noticed that if your uh, soldering block is hot it, I mean like if you've done something with it and then it's hot and then you try to make ball on the hot part then the ball would kind of stick to uh, the block so then like there would be something underneath that's kind of stuck with the ball but if you use like a fresh uh, cold part of the soldering block it's not sticking I mean that's what I've been noticing anyway I mean you're welcome to try it see if my theory is correct it's been pickled so that's the result I can't believe this thing took two hours it's kind of skewed uh, looks like 
this part is bigger than this part. But that's handmade, right? Uh, sometimes it's kind of hard to measure. I can try to see if I can uh, fit it better. This one taller. By the way, I'm using my finger to gauge how tight it is uh, to go inside. Well, anyway, we're going to add something, a uh, little more something to it. Oh, wait, I'm going to put it on my stone. So it's going to be like so. Let's see if how it looks like on the wrist. Uh, maybe like this, going this way. So just imagine it's gonna be wire wrap here to fill uh, fill in the gap and possibly around this part too. And then I will wire wrap the stone to contain it in the middle. I was thinking of using brass and silver initially, but I don't know, the brass color doesn't seem to be fitting with the color of uh, the yellow color, so I decided, well, it's going to be all silver, I think. I mean, it, go, it can go both ways, I suppose. So we'll see, I'll, I'll fill out uh, everything else tomorrow. Hopefully the plan will work, will work out just well. Okay, I'm gonna go back and see some of the comments. Looks like people has been talking, so I wanna see if I missed anything. If you could hear that, that's my phone. <laughs> that's my alarm. <laughs> Oh, Namir asking, what's the design stamp for your loco? Terribly expensive, and where did you get it? Uh, my loco stamp is a pretty. Uh, the price is pretty much the same everywhere. It depends on. Depends on the size and how many characters, like the length. Oh, yeah, I think depends on the length and the size and how many characters. It. Mine was about 125, I think. Well, most people get around around that quote, like between like 80 to 130 something. So if you only have like one character or like one small dot or whatever it's gonna be a lot cheaper than mine because mine is you know is my loco my full loco so it's kind of like more expensive but you should be able to ask for a quote uh, wherever you want to order it from I don't know what Stacy asked. Can stainless steel wire be used? Are you thinking for binding wire? Um, pretty sure you're not supposed to bind uh, argentium because it's like I said, it's brittle and it's red hot. So having any type of pressure is generally not uh, advised. So you just have to make sure that all your fitting is. Uh, nice and flush before you try to fuse it or to solder it. Mm, so 
Sally has a trick. Use a clothespin to hold your metal when hammering. Uh, she meant to use one half of the clothespin or a popsicle stick to hold the metal while hammering. Um, that could work, I think. Okay, yeah, I think I, I've gone through all the comments. Uh, so that's it for tonight, and I will see y'all cuties tomorrow to finish this. I don't know about finished because, you know, it's been two hours and I've only done the frame. So we'll see. We'll see what two hours tomorrow will bring us to. Okay, I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Thank you for hanging out with me. And hooray that we finished the goal. Woohoo! I'm so happy. I mean, like, they're probably still going to review my account because my account was already in the, uh, you know, in the dump bin. But at least it's going to, it's not going to be long before they were like, oh, yeah, you're okay, you know. So. Bye, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Mwah.